Back four years ago in 2018, WPL teased the E series. Now the year is 2022, and it's finally here. Introducing the E series. So, it's finally here, the WPL E-Series, been teased on their website since 2018, it's now finally been released. So, what is the E-Series? It is basically a Gaz 71, it is a fully tracked vehicle, and I feel like enough chatter and let's get to the unboxing. So as per usual, we've got the instruction manual. English on the inside, Chinese on the outside. Bag of accessories, again as per usual. And finally, the truck itself. Oh, truck. I don't know, what would you class it if it's tracked? Is it a truck or is it a tank? That's, that's, uh, that's the question I've got asked. Le leave your answer down in the comments. I'm quite interested to hear, hear back on that one. So, the standard style controller. So this is from the D12. This is the E1. So I believe the board actually inside the truck itself has got a mixer unit on it which means it can be controlled just by a normal controller which is kind of nice as I'm not a big fan of stick controllers now look at that so bloody detailed isn't it even got even got track suspension That is really cool. Looks like the white bit can come up. Oh. Ah, so. Found where the battery goes. It's the same little, uh, it's the same little 7.4, 600 mile battery, which comes in stock with most WPL RT RTRs. I feel like instead of doing all the talking just now, I should get all the accessories on, get it out, get it running, and then answer a few of your questions that was submitted on Facebook. So, super fast time lapse mode.
So, I finally got most of the accessories on. The only issue I had was with the tiny little window wipers I've put off to one side and I've now lost, I appears. I know, there, there they are. So these, my big fat fingers, I can't actually get them to go into the holes properly. The other little issue was the tight tolerances for these wheel or the road wheel covers as you can probably see in the video I was sort of pushing the tabs in with a flathead screwdriver to make them pop in correctly
So, by now you've probably seen all the running video. So, time to answer a couple of Facebook questions. I didn't actually get a lot of response on this one. But the ones I did get asked, what's the climbing angle like? So, this is, so this is 23 degrees. And let's see how it does. No problem. 29 degrees. problem. Now a little bit less stable and it is about 34 degrees. So, one thing I would like to say is the tracks themselves are actually one single track. There is a there is a knockout pin halfway around them. Let me turn the brightness up. There is a knockout pin halfway around them. And what it appears to be is the tracks are like a rubbery but possibly rubbery plastic all in one which well saying it's done about it's done about 33 degrees angle on a varnished bit of wood so I'll say I'll give it a little bit of help by Adding, I've got a bit of rubber matting. See if that, see if that helps it get up any better. Because it was on that on that climb, it was actually cutting out slightly. From your angle, you don't see the headlights flash, but it's basically drawing way too much power from it. But with the rubber matting, it gets up easy. I can get about, this is about 38 degrees. So, let's see, can I get up 38? It kind of, but Fighting for grip, but then not. Well, it's fighting for grip, but then losing it. I wonder. Would adding a bit of weight to it. Nah. So we found out it is maximum on that angle. And to be fair, that's a that's a decent angle for what it is. Wait, I am asking it to go up like that, so I'd say it gave it a good shot. It gave it a good shot. So one of the other questions which was also asked was, what's its maximum weight? carrying capacity. So, trust the old stolen kitchen scales, zero them, and I've got a bunch of metal. So, different size weights, lump, lumps of lead, another lump of lead, more weights, and the piece to resistance 
drum brake from my truck. <laughs> so all together, the drum brake is weighs in at 3.3 kilograms. Next I say is some of the lead, 4.4. Five point one. Now some of the kitchen scale weight. Five point five. And we've broken the uh, scales. Too heavy to read. So remove one of them. It's about five point five. And then added extra. 850. So all together we're looking at about 6.4 kg. So let's give it a little test. So let's try the heaviest weight first. Might as well. No problem at all. I have a strange feeling, should just try all the weight, just because why not? Just because I have a strange feeling it's going to be able to pull them all. So, lead weight, everything is now in, might as well full send. Absolutely no problem. Look at that. You should actually like look on the side as well. It's it has absolutely slammed the suspension. Right. Shows you exactly how much weight it could carry. So I'd like to say thank you for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, WPL E1 review. If this video hits I say about 50 likes I'll see if I can make the E1 amphibious like it should be because in its current state it sinks. So please do the like, comment, subscribe, whatever that call to action and stay safe out there.